Hello, Steve White, Trip 89 for Steve Out C9. Well, um, I just noticed something a little worrying recently. Um, as a Star Trek fan, I often go to Memory Alpha, um, not just Wikipedia, Wikipedia, but Memory Alpha, to check um, information about Star Trek dates, facts, things like that, especially with the histories of certain characters and that. And I just discovered something a little alarming. Uh, this was actually when they um, race swapped, um, um, is it Commander or Admiral April? Captain April. Um, they race swapped him. I went back and looked, and they had two pictures for him. And I'm like, well, they can't both be him. And I'm like, they're trying. They're, they're, I, I realize they're actually overriding the original canon, the original memory alpha information about characters and things with the discovery. Um, universe information. I'm like, oh my god, that's wrong. I just assumed they would have separate, you know, canon for that show, and they would keep the original canon as established. Established, because even if you um, believe that the new shows are canon in the same universe, there are, there are people who grew up with the other shows in other universe who still want to check, you know, when things happened in, you know, the novels or the original series that now have been changed in the new show. So the idea they're overriding the original canon, which is established for all these decades, um, that they've done a lot of work recording and establishing that the idea they're re overriding this with Discovery Era, um, Strange New Worlds, Universe information really bothers me. I, I just assumed you'd go into Strange New Worlds and you'd see, you know, on this date, this happened on this date, that happened. The idea that you just go into, like if you look at it now, Captain Pike has been put into Strange New Worlds. He's not in the original series anymore. So when you look at all the characters in, in the original series, so you can look them up, you don't get the Pike any, the Pike from the original series anymore. And it's like I said, with Captain April, you go and they've got the picture of the cartoon white 75-year-old guy from the animated series. And then you have the, I don't know, maybe 50 black guy from um, Strange New Worlds, and they've both got them there as, as Admiral, I mean, Admiral or Captain Pike, I'm like, you can't have both. You've replaced one with the other, so you either set up a separate timeline, a separate character for it, or you pick one. And the preference now, of course, because I guess they want to kiss up to Paramount and CBS, is to go with the one they're currently promoting and currently using, not the original one that people have grown up with for, you know, 50 years. So I see that as a real problem. They really need to keep this stuff separate, so they don't contradict and they don't have to override or replace things because I mean, when you look at Captain Kirk, they do have the alternative Captain Kirk from the movies as a separate um, tab or a separate profile or whatever from the original Kirk and the mirror Kirk, but they haven't separated the, um, the new Captain Kirk that they've just established in this episode from the original Captain Kirk. So although he's in a different timeline, they could do a timeline variation, but anything they write for him is going to contradict things from the original show. So it's like with Spock, apparently they're writing the autobiography of Spock and they're not writing the autobiography of the original Spock as established in the original series, they're doing the new Spock and stuff in his life in this alternate timeline, or this alternate universe, sorry, is um, going to be different. So it's going to contradict things that people grew up with and people who've been waiting for years for an autobiography of Spock, who've been fans for decades, want to see the history they grew up with expanded on. They don't want to see this new history from Strange New Worlds. So I find it really, really, I'm really disappointed in Memory Alpha. I think it's a huge lack of integrity on their part that they are just overriding the original Star Trek information from what I've seen, from what I could observe, allegedly, supposedly, um, with the new stuff from the new show, which contradicts. Um, if they're pointing out the contradictions and looking them at looking at them like two different shows, two different um, continuities or something, that would be fine, but this, they sort of write it like it's real, and you're looking, this person was born on this day, and this happened on this day. And, it's you know, they sort of played in the fictional world. And um, then they have sections about the actual making of the show, which are sort of different. Um, but yeah, you can't do both. You can't have contradicting information. If you pick one over the other, you're discarding one, and, and you're throwing away information. It's like a library throwing books out. Um, because someone else wrote a new one that contradicts it, so they throw the old one out, like history doesn't matter. Um, it's just really weird and disturbing. I'm so disappointed in them. I just assumed they would open up new... Like, you, you could look at Captain Kirk from the original series history, Captain Kirk from Strange New Worlds history, you know, Captain Pike from Strange New Worlds, Captain Pike from the original series. But now they're merging them into one and trying to trying to make them, you know, blend. And it's like they don't in some cases. Like, how do you explain 
some of the other characters now that apparently I didn't really pay attention, but apparently the the commander of the space station that is blown up is uh, a race swap of a character from the original series. I just assumed it was a different commander, but apparently they just changed the name a little bit, and it's supposed to be the same character. I'm like, well, if you're going to change the name, why don't you create a new character? I assumed that's what it was. So, and of course, there's you know Commander Kyle, who they're saying is two different Commander Kyles who just happen to work in the transporter room, five years apart. One's Asian, one's white. Uh, when really we know they just race swapped the character. When they could have easily just made the Asian um, extra they had in the cage into a full fleshed out character, that would have been the better way to go. And then had Kyle come in later, you know, on, on the original series, like he just took over from the other guy. But no, they, they race swapped him and now they're trying to say, oh, it's two different characters who just happen to have the same name, the same job. It's a mess. Disappointed.